Well, come on back. Get ready for some 8145. Did you hear that? We are so excited to be joined with Anne Dimonick. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> she is director and choreographer for She Loves Me. We've got Kristen Franco and also Kayla Rosas. They are in the show, which is like a very romantic, witty, comedy musical. Yes. And it's uh, perform presented by the Altoona Community Theater at the Historic Michler. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having us. I'm a huge yeah. fan of the arts and I love supporting local. Um, and for people are, that might not be familiar with She Loves Me, what's it about? So She Loves Me is a classic musical. It takes place in the 1930s. And we follow the clerks of Marichek's Perfumery. So in a plot you might recognize from You've Got Mail or similar things, it was actually based on this musical. So we have George and Amalia who are corresponding through love letters, but they're anonymous, so they don't know who each other are. When they meet in real life, of course, things don't go as well, and they're a bit of enemies almost. <gasps> and then we have more people who work in the shop with um, Alona and her paramour, uh, Kodai, your favorite on-again, off-again on again, off again relationship. <laughs> with plenty of drama, plenty of love and laughs. And we have a menagerie of other cast members who uh, guarantee a night full of light, life, laugh, and love. Just anything you want in a musical, we have comedy, songs, and a little bit of secret. <laughs> your, um, I just wanted to say, your costume team did such an amazing job just looking at your outfits. That must be very fun to, to be a part of the, the performances that are dated back, right, Kristen? Like, if you're in the 30s and you get to dress this way. Oh, absolutely. Um, it's, it's really fun to wear kind of the vintage pieces. Uh, Kayla and I were just talking recently how we wish that uh, today they still did like hats with every outfit because yes. we had to wear some really or amazing the, hats. The, the gloves. Yes. yes. <laughs> and like the whole ensemble from head to toe, like all coordinated. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Kristen, tell me, so who was your character and where do you play a part in this love story? Sure. So uh, my character's name is Amalia Balish uh, and she is writing letters with someone that she refers to as dear friend um, <laughs> that she met in a... You know, she answered a Lonely Hearts advertisement in the newspaper, which is like old-timey Tinder. Um, <laughs> I'm a little more wish, anonymous. I wish we could go back to that. <laughs> Seriously. Those were the days. Yeah, but what she doesn't realize is that this dear friend that she's been writing to, uh, she meets uh, when she gets her new job. Uh, and uh, in person, uh, let's just say they're not feeling the love as much as they are in their we, letters, but they don't know. This is so relatable. This is like when you're texting with someone and you're totally vibing and you're like, this is going to be great. And then you're on the date and you go, what's happening here? <laughs> uh, we've got some photos of the cast. Uh, tell us just how amazing it has been to be working on this project. Oh, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> everybody has been so amazing to work with. Um, we have a lot of like veteran um, mu musical uh, individuals who have done so many different kinds of plays and musicals and are bringing their talents to some of us people who've only done a couple. So it's been really amazing being able to learn and watch from them. Yeah, Kayla, tell us about your character. My character is Alona Ritter and she's kind of um, like the ditzy hot girl in the shop. <laughs> and Not afraid to say it. No. <laughs> That's my character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, and that's your character. Yes, and she has a, a fling with a clerk who's also in the shop who doesn't always treat her very well. <gasps> and we kind of see some character development from her as she, you know, builds her inner girl power and decides, you know, I'm not going to stand for this anymore. I love that. Yes. You, you don't need to stand for that. <laughs> your character. Uh, <laughs> So what would you tell somebody that's maybe interested, perhaps never even come out to a show at the Michler or let alone a musical? Why should they come out to see She Loves Me? If you love romantic comedies or truthfully any good love story, this is exactly what you want in a show. It has the laughs, it has, I mean, these two have phenomenal voices. We have talent that we have on the Michler stage is unrivaled for this show. The cast, the pit, the set, they're all gorgeous. And if you're looking for a reason to go out for, you know, it's the end of summer, we're in, getting into fall before yes. it gets too cold, the Michler is the place to be this weekend because you're just gonna get 
so happy with it. We had a little bit of summer, we got a tiny bit of autumn, and actually, if you're already for, ready for Christmas, we got a little bit of Christmas too. <laughs> oh, you're taking us through all of this season. All the season, you spend a whole Seasons year. Seasons of love. <laughs> oh, and I just know that a lot of people that have come through the area that try that visit the 814, they just say that performing on the historic Mischler stage is amazing. Kayla, Kristen, Ann, what does it feel like to be up there? I mean, it feels, I, it feels like an honor to be able to f to be in that space and to perform with a full orchestra, which we do. I mean, you you really feel like a performer, you know. And um, I think that we all take our performances really seriously, but we also all have such fun together. <laughs> and I think that's something that you'll you'll see uh, conveyed if you come in and check us out. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, so Kayla, after the break, you are actually going to be singing a little bit. Yes. Tell me about um, the trip to the library. Um, so a trip to the library is kind of Alona's song where she's found someone new other oh. than the clerk from the shop. Because she could do better. Because she could do better. <laughs> and she finds out, I can do better. And she meets a great guy. And, you know, she's going to see where that takes her. Oh, very nice. Does she meet him in the library or you can't tell me? She meets him in the library. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we should have gotten you a book or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped my book. And then, I feel like, yeah, I need to get involved with the Altoona Community you Theater. Should. You guys just always put on an amazing show, and I'm always impressed every time I go. And they're always looking for volunteers and people who want to be involved. And I think that there's a lot of ways to be involved. And you don't have to have prior experience. Um, AltoonaCommunityTheater.com, yes. I, I think is our website. website. Um, we're always looking for, you know, if you're interested in performing, but also, like, if you want to learn about making costumes. Exactly. Or, you know, you want to help backstage. Mm -hmm. Or we have workshops. Like, I know there's one coming up on October the 1st about learning how to cry on cue. Um, <laughs> so, fun. Yeah. It I doesn't think. involve uh, any fake... It does not. <laughs> no, you have, it, there's a whole you have to channel to do something. You <laughs> and know? everyone at ACT is always just so welcoming. So it, oh, it's of course. anyone who has experience, if you just go, I love acting or I love theater and I want to be involved, ACT is the place to go. Just yeah. And auditions for having. our next show, I believe, are next week. They are next week. Wow, so. right around and the corner. tickets for this <laughs> show. <laughs> Kayla, what's yes. the show? Can oh, you my say? gosh. It's, it's Hallmark movie. It's every Hallmark movie put together into one show. <laughs> Uh, we do have the details. Remind people once again how they can get tickets, Anne. AltoonaCommunityTheater.com. Uh, Michler Theater has tickets as well. You'll go on through there. It is this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and this Sunday at 2 p.m. for our matinee. Come out and see us. It's going to be a phenomenal show. Perfect. And we will, of course, have all the details on our website after the show. Kayla, I can't wait to see you perform. Yay. We've got a lot more still to come on the show. Morgan. Hey, Rebecca, including we're going to be live with Shaggy Mountain Farms Petting Zoo talking to oatmeal and raisin. Stay with us. Well, I've got this rambling fever and a mind full of lines ready to run. Plus, more music from musician Colt Winter Lepley. You don't want to change the channel. Studio A. 